hi guys and welcome back to the channel uh, i just wanted to make a quick update on my iphone 11 pro versus iphone 12 pro video uh, and i know i'm uh, this is not a tech channel and i'm not gonna start uh, reviewing uh, uh, cell phones but i just wanted to um, get the word out to as many people as i can because uh, it's quite of a important issue for me and if you're um, looking to buy an uh, iphone 12 pro max you might want to know this and uh, since i have a watch channel it's quite important for me so uh, i wanted to make a follow-up video uh, since i heard back from apple and tell you what uh, the thing is about I'm gonna do a quick wristwatch check. We have the Tudor Black Bay GMT. And uh, let's get starting on the issue at hand. A week ago, I bought the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And uh, I bought it because it has a great camera. It has a bigger uh, lens. I think it's a wider lens. By the way, I'm not in any way, shape or form a camera guy. So I don't know all the specific names on everything I'm about to talk about. So just uh, you just have to bear with me. Uh, the lens on the 12 Pro Max is wider than uh, on the 12 Pro. And also, of course, it's wider than the 11 Pro Max that came out last year. And the wider lens makes it so that it, it lets more light in and uh, you have a better video quality in low light situations and I guess better video quality in every situation. Well, not quite because last week I still have my 11 Pro Max at home and uh, I got my 12 Pro Max. I bought it. I took it home. I was setting up to shoot an unboxing video with a new Zealous watch and uh, I was playing around a little with the two phones and I noticed that um, the focusing distance on the 12 Pro Max is actually worse than on the 11 Pro Max and with that I mean how close I can get to the subject that I want to focus on uh, in my case it's the watch that I'm filming at the moment I could get way closer with the 11 Pro Max than I could with the 12 Pro Max and I called Apple first of all I googled the issue and I found a lot of people experiencing the same thing uh, so it wasn't just my phone and then I called Apple here in Sweden and uh, the guy took some notes and he promised uh, he's gonna he was gonna check it out and he was gonna uh, reach out to the Apple engineers and uh, see what they had to say and today they called me back and this is the answer the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a wider lens and because of that wider lens the focusing distance when uh, you're trying to do macro shots uh, e either if you're trying to film it in video or if you're trying to shoot it with the camera on the main lens is actually worse than on the phones that have a smaller lens and that is the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro and uh, he actually got an email from the engineer with a lot of technical data showing this and I asked him to send me that email so that I could uh, show it to you guys but he didn't want to do that because uh, Apple were gonna issue an official statement on their web page and they didn't want that information to come from some other source uh, which is me uh, so the basic thing is when you're buying the new iPhone 12 Pro Max and if you are a content creator like I am and if you're shooting uh, stuff, if you want to have a close-up shot on a watch, let's say, you're not going to be able to get as close on the new iPhone 12 Pro Max as you were on the 11 Pro Max and as you are on the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro and I'm gonna show you I've shot a lot of footage at home in different situations on different things on watches of course and I want to show that reel to you after me finishing talking here so you can see for yourself and judge it for yourself I did not have a mount so that I can mount both of the phones I'm holding them in my hands together at the same distance um, but since I'm holding them together they're slightly at another angle from each other but you're gonna see the reel and you can judge for yourself so the thing is for me personally do I want to keep the iPhone 11 Pro Max because I can get closer to the watch with it or do I want to sell it 
and uh, keep the 12 Pro Max, which was my plan from the beginning. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep the 12 Pro Max. I really love the design and uh, the video quality in low light is so much better uh, as is the photo quality in uh, low light. And uh, it's simply a better phone. Uh, I can compensate uh, the phone not being able to focus when I get as close uh, to the object by uh, zooming and, uh, and I think I'm gonna do some kind of uh, work around uh, in that manner. Anyway, I hope you find the footage that comes here uh, useful and um, let me know what you think. Have you experienced the same thing? This is now official, it's not just my phone, it's official from Apple. They have a problem with it, it's not a problem, it's basically the sensor is wider and therefore you cannot get as close to your object as you could before with the 11 Pro Max or as you can with the 12 or 12 Pro. It's just an issue on the 12 Pro Max because of the wider sensor. And now I've talked way too much. Take a look at the footage. See you in the next one. And I promise you the next one is going to be a watch review. Bye bye.